welcome back to Paragon Ridge Ranch. Chrissy here, and we are in the garden today. I am having some bug issues. I know we spoke about it briefly in another video, probably about a month ago. I did get the squash bugs under control. If you could see behind me here, this is some of my squash plants. And what it took was a lot of time and just really close detail. I was out here a couple times a day. I would catch the squash bugs and squish them, and I'd pick up all the eggs, either with my hand or with pieces of tape. And I would constantly monitor the squash and the cucumbers. And I finally, finally, finally think that I am ahead of them. I did go ahead and do a second planting since it's the middle of July of the cucumbers and the squash. So hopefully that'll be a better harvest for me. But finally got that under control. And then yesterday when I was out watering, all of a sudden I see this. Blister beetles. Blister beetles are one of the main reasons I walked away from my raised bed garden last year. I know it's the middle of July and I walked away at the end of July last year, but this year I planted late because of the cold weather and because of all the rain. I am not going to let them get me down this year. I have barely gotten one harvest. I'm excited about getting some more tomatoes and beans and I'm gonna take you along with me and show you what I'm gonna do to prevent these beetles from inundating my whole garden. You're gonna need a couple supplies. You're going to need some rubber gloves. You're going to need some dish soap and a basin. And then the only other supply you're gonna need is some DE, which is diatomaceous earth. Let me show you what I'm gonna do to try to combat them. So as you see, I have blister beetles on my eggplant, on my tomatoes, and on my Swiss chard. Thank God my three lonely little pepper plants are safe for right now. Let's get this started. We just have a little basin with some water in it, that's all. And we're gonna take this, it's about a quarter full, and we're just gonna add some soap. Don't need too much. And we're just gonna stir it up. Make some soapy water. We're going to get a glove. All right, so we have our soapy water and our glove. The reason you have to have a glove, these things are called blister beetles. And the reason they're called that, they emit a toxin. So if it touches your skin, it could actually give you close to a second degree burn if you react to it. Also, these things are so bad. If you eat their toxin, you can get deathly sick. Horse and cow owners actually lose their livestock due to these little pests. They get in the hay. If the person that's haying doesn't leave the hay to dry for long enough, they bale the hay. These little pests get stuck in there and then your cows and your horses eat them and they can die. So these are stupid little bugs. Like I am so mad that I finally got over the squash bugs and now here I am dealing with blister beetles. Let's go start collecting them and I'll show you what this is for. See my Swiss chart? See this blister beetle? They are eating and they eat fast. What we're going to do, we are going to try to knock them into the soapy water. And now they tend to go straight. As soon as you try, see how they drop off, as soon as you go to grab them, they drop down. See them there? As soon as you try to grab them, they drop down to the ground. So if you hurry up and you get collect them, you could generally try to collect them down here at the bottom. See them? So I'm gonna collect them. See them there? I'm gonna put them in there. You just drop them in. Sometimes you could just put this underneath, like so. Give these a little shake and they will fall in. You can see that they have been in here for at least a day or so. They have left their droppings everywhere. Look, they're over here as well. Yeah. 
and they go into the soapy water and they are dispatched. This is the best way to get rid of them so they don't annihilate your whole garden. But you can see they are wreaking havoc all over this Swiss chard plant. Look at them. Help. Oh, there's one right there. Pop them in. It doesn't help that this needs weeded. Like that really doesn't help me at all. So their eggs are laid in the dirt in the spring and then whenever they grow, they start eating grasshopper eggs. The larva eats the grasshopper eggs and that's how they grow and get big. And then they inundate your garden. So read that what works on the ground is putting diatomaceous earth all over the ground around your plants to help kill any eggs or any little larva and also to help kill them before they go and crawl up on your plant. I have noticed that they also know how to fly. So here we go. Stepping over here also. Now, yes, this is all grown out and we're not even eating this anymore, but still. Look at all those droppings. I still wanted to feed this to my animals, but doesn't look like that's gonna happen now. Let's go over to the eggplant. There's only a few on that eggplant. Make sure that they get in here and we get rid of them and then we'll go to the tomatoes over there. tomato. See this eggplant has been getting eaten by grasshoppers so that makes sense that they were over here trying to find the grasshopper eggs to eat. Well we got them off there. Oh there's another one. That's all I see here. Try the drop method with these ones. See if I can get them to drop into this basin. All right, I went through all my tomato plants and I picked up all the blister beetles that I could. As you can see, all my squash and cucumbers are doing wonderful. I'm really looking forward to getting some of this beautiful produce. Look at these. In the next few weeks. I wanna tell you thank you so much for watching today's video and coming on the journey that I'm doing right now, the 30 days and 30 video challenge. It is getting a little hectic. I'm trying to stay on top of my game. It is taking priority over other things right now, but that's part of my challenge, to challenge myself to do better and to learn more about this analytics and all the YouTube know-how. So thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little dingle bell next to it so you're alerted every single time I update new content. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.